Postman Pat and the Farmer's Market. Good afternoon. My name is Postman Pat and in today's exciting adventure I shall be using my knowledge of class intervals and interpolation to be helping my farmer friends sell their cattle at the farmer's market. It was market day in Greendale. I had been trying to sell a few souvenir post office staff t-shirts to the locals but as you can see from the photo nobody had the slightest inclination to try one on. I left empty-handed to start my deliveries. I helped Major Forbes complete his cryptic crossword and I helped Anitha tie as a guinea pig for Amy Rigglesworth the vet. When I got to Peter Fogg's farm to give him the new combine harvester catalogue he was puzzling over his quartiles. Hello Farmer Fogg, said I with the cheeriest of dispositions. Jess went to the coop to find some chickens. How's life on the farm? Farmer Fogg looked disconsolate. I need to work out an approximate value for the upper quartile mass of my cows, but I haven't got the foggiest how to go about it. Ask me about motorbikes or eggs and I'll give you an answer before you say fertiliser, but don't be asking me about these measures of location or dispersion. I could clearly see that it was I, postman Patrick Clifford, with my degree in behavioural economics, that was going to have to lift the mist from Farmer Fogg's eyes. The farmer's market was but three hours hence, and the farmer Fogg was going to make a loss, and beef burger prices were going to rise, it's the basic law of supply and demand, unless I took evasive action. Farmer Fogg showed me his grouped data of the masses of his sixty cows. I explained in a patronising tone that where there are gaps between the classes, these need to be taken into account when calculating the class width. I showed him how to calculate the cumulative frequencies, although I called them subtotals, to determine the class which was home to the upper quartile, or 45th cow, and then how to use a little diagram based on ratio to uncover the upper quartile mass. Although your table says 24 to 31, Peter, it actually runs from 23.5 to 31.5, and therefore the class width is 8. As you can see from the subtotals, the 45th cow lies in the 48 to 55 class. Now you draw this diagram and use the proportions. So 45 is 5 18ths of the way through the 48 to 55 class and equals about 49.72 kilograms. Farmer Fogg gave me a juicy turnip for my troubles and I set off for Farmer Julia Pottage's pink cow farm. Jess joined me in the van with a few feathers between her teeth. But once we arrived at Farmer Potch's Pink Cow Emporium, it was obvious that something was amiss, with just two hours until the farmer's market. Oh, Pat, she wailed. I was beginning to believe that all farmers had blurry photographs. The farmer's market is but two hours hence, and I am all a fluster. This missive states that I need to calculate the eighth decile mass, or be ineligible to sell any cattle to the abattoir. I certainly wasn't about to deprive Greendale of any succulent fillets and sirloins, so I leapt into action whilst Jess went to investigate the pond. I revealed to Farmer Pottage the table that Farmer Fogg had shown me, but adapted it to her needs. I discussed the idea of a class width, in her case seven, and that the eighth deck aisle, or D8 as I would call it, was the 80% heaviest cow. I showed her how to use a scientific calculator to find 80% of 85, it was 68, and how that revealed that the cow in question was in the 39 to 45 class. By the time I got my diagram out, she was way too baffled, so I did the sums myself. I left Farmer Pottages with a large festive hamper and collected Jess, who smelt like a trout. Her last destination was to Farmer Thompson's, who was famous for owning a cow with the largest mouth in Greendale. Afternoon, Pat, he smiled. I'm just off to the farmer's market. You couldn't do a quick bit of statistics with your modern newfangled interpolation diagram, could you? I need P65 and there's only one hour until kick-off. Never one to miss the opportunity to show off. I made a quick note of the distribution of Alf's cattle masses, 
tabulated it, found the class width, 6, subtotaled, located P65, 65% of 54 is 35.1, and churned it through my very popular formula. All three farmers made handsome profits that day, so the following week we had a beef party and Jess had a nice fish supper. Another adventure has ended for me, Postman Pat, my black and white cat Jess, and my encyclopedic knowledge of statistics.